Welcome everyone to yoga. We are going to be focused on balance today. So I have a candle set up um, in my house. I'm gonna be using this as my focal point. You're welcome to use a candle or any other object, it doesn't matter. Um, for some reason, the flame helps me focus more. So um, we're talking about balance today, both mind and body. We're taking this from a a mental standpoint with everything that goes on in the world that forces you to play different roles in society and all the different demands that's put on you throughout your life, how you have to like really find a balance through your life. Um, and from a physical standpoint, balance is part of everyday things. And if you don't use this, if you don't practice balance, you actually start to lose it. So we're going to be practicing this physically and mentally and keeping ourselves focused throughout the whole practice today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Have a seat on your mat. We're going to come to all fours and just start to warm up the core. So draw your attention to your breath. As you inhale, spread across the collarbones, open up through your chest. Drop the pelvis down, and then as you exhale, draw your belly button up into your spine, rounding through the back. So just nice, smooth cat-cow, and bring your breath to each one of these movements. So make sure you're breathing every time you move. So inhale, lift. Exhale, curl and round, pressing through the fingertips. Now this time, I want you to continue to remember your breath, but now bring conscious thought to your movement. So think about what you're doing and keep your focus right here on the mat. Let go of any to-do lists. Let go of any chronic cases of multitasking. Stop it right now, because this right now is going to do more for you if you stay focused than multitasking is gonna do for you by only half doing this halfway, half-assing, I guess you can call it. All right, go ahead and have a seat. Um, swing your legs around. We're gonna warm up the core, the abdominal muscles. The abdominals and your strength throughout your core is um, very important for your physical balance. So go ahead and extend your arms out in front of you and then I just want you to lean back any amount where you can feel that your stomach is engaged. So draw your belly button into your spine, hold yourself erect, so try to avoid rounding here. And now I just want you to breathe in this pose. Now the longer you hold it, you might start to feel your body shake. Now once you feel this shake, I want you to stay strong. I want you to return your focus to your breath. I want you to find the calm. And I want you to be very present in this practice. Go ahead and lift your right leg for me. And then if you're ready, go ahead and lift your left leg as well and breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Go ahead and roll down the spine and release. Great job. And we're going to go ahead and take our heels right behind our hips. You're gonna press your hips up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and make sure that you're really locked into that bridge. So you're pressing your hips up as high as possible, squeezing your glutes, pressing down through your heels. Once you're in that pose, I want you to go ahead and take your hands, open up the chest, and once again, focus on your breath. Really use this time to become centered with yourself, to find calmness in your mind, and bring that calmness to your practice right now. And if you have a single thought, 
have it be thoughts about your breath or have it be thoughts about what muscles you're using so you're pressing through the heels you're squeezing through the glutes you're pressing your hips up towards the sky you're opening up through the chest that's your single focus is what you're doing right now throughout this practice good and then i just want you to exhale slowly roll down take your knees out to the side for Supta Baddha Konasana, you can rest your hands on your belly if that feels good. And now I just want you to really think about your intention for this practice today. So whether your goal is more of a mental battle, trying to balance those different roles I mentioned to you, being a, a wife and a grandma and a professional at work and a best friend and there's so many demands balancing all those roles or maybe it's just balancing different projects and tasks you have going on or maybe you clicked this video today because you actually are having trouble with your balance just walking and moving you notice you feel a little off balance if any one of those things are true for you you're in the right place today and i firmly believe that our mental state if we're not balanced mentally it does have an effect on our physical body Alright, so our core has been warmed up. We're just going to go ahead and squeeze your legs into your chest. And then when you're ready, we're just going to do a gentle rock and roll up to a standing position. You can just rock up and down the spine, massaging the spine, bringing energy throughout your body. It's kind of like, it feels like a massage to me. I don't know about for you. And then when you're ready, rock up. Take your feet shoulder width apart. Forward fold. You can really give yourself a nice bend in the knees here and let your chest rest on your legs. That feels good for you. And come back to your breath. Great, and then we're just gonna do a nice little reverse swan dive up to standing position. Inhale, reaching your arms up overhead, dropping the shoulder blades down away from your ears. Exhale, hands come to center, mountain pose. We're going to warm up our body by going through a, just our Siri Namaskar at A. And so let's go slow ahead and inhale, reaching up towards the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up and lift, finding length through your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Step or hop into plank. Take your elbows to your side, shift your weight forward, lower into chaturanga. Inhale, press up to upward facing dog or cobra. And then exhale, press your weight back into downward facing dog. Find your breath, sink your breath with your movement. Have that be your focus right now. Inhale, bend the knees, look between the fingers, and then either step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up and look, find length. Draw the shoulder blades down your back, drop them, your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, reaching up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Now really take this moment to feel grounded through your feet. So lift through all four corners of your feet. We're gonna go through that one more time a little faster. Inhale, reach up, exhale, forward fold. Halfway up and look, finding length. Exhale, forward fold. Step or hop into plank position. Shift your weight over the wrists. Slowly load her into chaturanga. 
pressing up into upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, press your weight back into downward facing dog, bending the knees, looking between the hands, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up and lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms down and around, reaching up towards the ceiling. Exhale, into mountain pose. This time, adding some balancing poses into our yoga practice. We're just gonna go ahead and lift the right leg, and we're gonna place it either above or below the knee. It's up to you. Now, if you have that candle now, is a really good time that you're gonna wanna use it for focus. And in this position, I just want you, tree pose, I just want you to think about your breath, you to take that your knee and draw it into the center and then with the opposite arm go ahead and extend it out you can reach for your uh, big toe and extend the leg maintain your focus draw your knee into your chest this time hands on the hips and then we're just going to go ahead and shoot that leg to the back for a warrior three. Now you can choose hands at your hips, arms in front of you or arms back behind you, whatever you like the most. Maintain your focus. Focus is the biggest part of balancing exercises. back up. That knee is still lifted. You still have total control of that leg. Take your hand back to heart center. Leg, go ahead and put it, put it right back up above or below the knee. And this time we're going to play with the arms a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and lift the arms up overhead, reaching above you. And if you want to change your focus now, you're welcome to do that. You can always take your eyes and look up as well. Excellent job. Go ahead and take your hands to heart center. Let that let go. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So this time, go ahead and lift the left leg. Place it above or below the knee for tree pose. Hands can be a prayer, or you can try reaching up now. Bring your thought, your mind, to your breath. And stay present in this moment. Any mind chatter, let it go. Reaching for the big toe and extending the leg. Pull your knee back to center, this time kicking your leg back out behind you. Now the more you practice balancing exercises, the better you will become. position above or below the knee and then once again hands can come to heart center or reaching above you and if you feel gutsy go ahead and change your focal point you can look up great job exhale hands come to heart center 
release. All right, we're gonna go ahead and inhale, reach up towards the ceiling, exhale, forward fold. Go ahead and step or hop back into plank. Move through your chaturanga, pressing up to upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bending the knees, step or hop your feet to your hands. This time when you get up to your hands, we're gonna go ahead and take our knees nice and wide in Matsyana. And go ahead and relax, find your breath in this posture. We're really opening up the hips here. We're gonna move into our crow pose, which requires a lot of focus and core stability. So go ahead and take your hands right in front of you. You're gonna stack your knee, your knees right into your armpits. And then slowly you're gonna lift one foot off the ground at a time. So find your balance, find a focal point, and you're just gonna hold and keep lifting up through, um, through your core, so drawing your belly button up to your spine, finding that strength and balance. And as you hold this pose, you might start to feel a little bit of heat. Welcome the heat, stay focused on your breath. And if you tap and come out of it, that's just fine. Hold for three, two, and one. Great job. Gonna reverse and stretch the wrists out. Flip them if that's a lot of pressure on your wrists. This might be a really good stretch for you. And you're welcome to practice your headstands now or you can go into crow one more time. It's completely up to you. I'm gonna practice my headstands myself. So you can slowly place your head on the ground. You can clasp your hands together or you can keep them apart and slowly walking your feet up one at a time and then when you're ready just go ahead and kick yourself up Control will lower back down. Excellent job. Go ahead and take your knees wide. Melt your chest to the floor. Reach your arms over your head. For a child's pose. position. This is a really good time. Now that you have practiced a little bit of the Sami Yoga and some movements, you've burnt some of your energy that you might be holding inside of you, this is a really good time to practice Drishti drills where you just um, maintain a single focus for anywhere from five to 10 to 20 minutes. So you really wanna focus on looking at one point and not blinking. And while you do this drill, you're gonna feel dryness and eventually your eyes might start to water. It'll be coming down, kind of down your cheeks. This is a really amazing drill to help you have better focus throughout the day and just practice being thoroughly present. So I highly encourage you to take this moment now to practice your drills, or maybe you wanna just take this time to rest in a peaceful meditation, it's completely up to you. 
Thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you have a great day and you continue to practice balance throughout your day. Namaste. If you like this video, click like. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. That way you'll get notifications of any new workout videos that I post on Conscious Fitness. If you have questions about any health or fitness concerns, please leave a comment below and I will be sure to get back with you.